Well, good afternoon, everybody. We are back at it again here at the Gear Jammers Garage. Me and the Chewy Meister, as you can see back there, we're at it today. I'm going to find my piece here. So, today is the bottom of the rocker and the bottom of the A-pillar. So, in other videos, you saw what the piece looked like. So, let me get down there and show you. So, what we've done now is we straightened them back out. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Considering yesterday or day before, it looked like a dog's breakfast. So, that will fit right in there like that. Then I will be able to manipulate the bottom half of the rocker and, and what have you in order to get it back in there. But as for the mounting surface that's here and the one here on the bottom of the A pillar, if we can get those to match with just what we have right there, like I said, and like I said, Chewie's doing the exact same on the other side right now. So that's what we're doing right now. We're just test fitting. We've got to make sure that everything's going to line up because all this is going to determine where we weld this and where we weld this and where we get for a gap here. So it sounds like Chewie made uh, made some progress there for some reason. <laughs> I got to do the... Uh... Perfect. So that's what we're doing so far. So we'll probably set the camera up here in a little bit and uh, give you an idea. And we start getting a little bit more, you know, welding and what have you. But for right now, we just got to get everything tacked into place and uh, and get started. And then, like I said, Chewy will get in there, start burning all that in, and then we can start manipulating. We were thinking about it earlier. We weren't one hundred percent sure. I was anyway. That bracket. It's hard to see right here. The fingers in the way, but there's a bracket right. Let me see if I can get the phone in there. There it is right there. Now, that holds the cowl up. And what the situation is, I'm thinking, because of the old cage. Hey, Larry. There's, there's Larry. Kitty cat. Larry. Want to be famous? <laughs> so, what I'm thinking is, is when uh, Misfit built that new cage and they put all that in, there is no guarantee that that is exactly where the other one was so we could be off just a little bit but we're thinking as long as we can get to the point here where the the rockers are going to be in the right spot and everything hi right, larry what's up buddy big old fat cat and uh we get to that point then we'll be a lot farther ahead did you want to take out we'll probably take out that piece of aluminum too chewy if you want yeah we're gonna have to so we can well yeah it makes it a little easier all right so i'm gonna drop the phone i'm gonna set it up for us in a little bit and then uh, i gotta get all this here this has to be all Got to clean it all up so we can get to, we can get a weld on that. So back in a few minutes, guys. Thanks for joining us. All right, so Chew Meister's just about got this side done. We got that bottom fitted right there, and we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So we'll, Chewy's already got this one fitted over here. So he's going to finish that welding right now on that side, and we're going to get on this one right here. Like that. And once these are welded at least across here and down here, we can manipulate this to where it needs to go. Uh, pull this out, bend it back in. You, you know what I'm saying? Like it just, we have a gap issue, but that's only because I'm pretty sure that the door, well, I know that the bottom of the, I know this is sticking out this way too far. This still may need to be higher or lower. And again, we're not 100% sure because we got that bracket. Like I showed you earlier up there. So, worst case scenario, we'll cut that bracket tab off. And then we will uh, we'll see what we need to manipulate. But I don't wanna I don't wanna do that till the very last resort. So But as you can hear, choose over there just to have an at it. So we're getting there today, guys. Unfortunately, you don't see Stewie anymore. We had to send him to the hospital. No, he's fine. It's self-inflicted. <laughs> For some reason or another, I don't know, but he's got a nosebleed, and it won't stop bleeding. And he was leaving DNA all over the shop here, so we decided to kick him out. <laughs> Go get himself fixed. So hopefully he's back soon. It was no big deal. So, But yeah, as you can see, so we've got the, like I said, we've got the front clip off. You know, I was really about the only thing we really didn't have to mess with, guys, when it came to the car. Stuart got bored earlier, as you can see. He pulled off the stickers and it left a 
old sticker underneath. I, I told him, I said, that's a new school look. So this gives you a better idea of what we've gotten into now and where this cowl is going to have to go and whether it can be lifted up or down. Like it's, like I say, it's, see now we've lifted up the rockers to get those in here. See, he's got that all done in there. Look at that. Okay, so we're going to bring down that rocker. We're going to pull this over, weld it up, bring it into place. And I should really help out with the, with the distance. So get this tape off here. Anyway, guys, that's uh, that's what we're doing so far. So stick with us. It's a it's a learning curve. It's going to be a few. Oh, see, I see a couple of little things we may have to weld up in here too. But well, we'll there's trust me, there's a lot of welding left to do in here. But right now, we just got to get it so that it looks half decent. My dad told me years ago that once we get this done, we have to take it outside and check out the car from the side from about 25, 30 feet away. Why? So you know whether or not the front quarter's in the right spot, the doors, everything. It gives you a better perspective of the car than trying to look at it in a garage. I built my old rat rod when I built tetanus back in the day, oh, about 12, 13 years ago there when it was a rat rod. Yeah, I built it the first time and the box was up and the cab was down and the front clip was facing a different direction and it looked like Stevie Wonder built it. So I... Uh, Dad said, take it outside, look at it, and see what it's doing in the, you know, from a distance. Anyway, we did that, and uh, he was 100% right, so. <laughs> Our goal is maybe today, if we can get there, because it's still rather half-decently early, maybe we can get to uh, uh, breaking it outside, and we'll be able to take a quick little look at it and give you guys an idea of what I was just talking about, so. But we're getting there. We're getting there. We'll be back with you in a sec. I keep saying I was going to set the video up, but we kept doing something and getting at it, and Never got a chance. I'll set one up here, and then we'll do a little time lapse for you guys. By the way, they're testing right now. Yeah, the uh, legacy board. is right now with uh, John. So here's Chewy. We're uh, we got the other side done right now. He's got that one in. It is looking fantastic in there. There's quite a bit of quite a bit of welding, and like I said, we had to to get in there. He's gonna get in and get that post here soon, and uh, he'll, he'll get that done. But right now, he's just finishing off this piece right now on this side. I'm helping. And uh, we get in there, yeah. And we get in there, we'll be able to start working on it. We're close. We're uh, we're really close. We'll be able to uh, check the doors here right soon. And uh, I'm getting a little excited. Maybe we'll start on the, the top, bottom of the A pillars here. And we'll start on this side. This gap and everything seems to be really good. I just got to get this door to be able to close because I can't get at it back here with this corner being all bent out of rat crap. So it's got to it's got to come down. We're not moving anything until Chewy's done. You know what? That's lined up better than it was when it was pointed out. It's already lined up better. Yeah, it it, it all had to come it, it square. Apart, man. It had to come square. Yeah. And 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 these are these mounting spots. These two. Here and here, and the two and the B pillars in the bottom, they were the only two naturals that we had that we knew were a good starting point, but... And point in the back, right? Just off the open Right, the for the distance, to be able to pull it forward. Yeah. Okay, so, we're still waiting for Stewie. So, he's done so a bunch of toothpicks. <laughs> he sent us a picture. He's in the waiting room with rags up his nose. I'm going to say they're rags, but... <laughs> That's for another story. Anyway, hopefully he's back by the next time we come in here. I'm going to set the, the camera up. I'm going to try to set it up on top of the uh, the front clip here, and then we'll uh, we'll get some videos. So, all right, we'll be back. <laughs> all right, so now is uh, the next day. So, in order for me to continue on, so unfortunately today Chewy can't make it. Uh, we do have Stewie back with us, though he. Made it back, unfortunately, it yesterday. Or <laughs> yesterday, yeah, you heard us. You can see I, I trimmed it. Oh so, yes, so yes. It's not this, yeah, so doesn't it's have the like string. You don't have the string hanging off anymore. So my nose was getting my nose tampon was getting in my coffee. Well, yeah, I would see that being an issue. <laughs> oh. Wow. God, we love him. Uh, at least he's all fixed up. He's got to kind of keep that in until tomorrow. But 
Uh, yeah, so like I said, uh, Chewy's not going to be able to make it in today, but we're going to come in and put a few hours worth of work in. So today's uh, issue is we're going to back weld and get the rest of this in here. You can see there's a, a slice in here, so we're going to get that welded in, get this more secured. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to get it banged back over, and then the whole... You can tell right here that there's not a lot of support inside because it was all cut out. It actually moves. So I'm going to put a, a piece of wood in here, and I'm actually going to give it a little persuasion that direction which should help out we also if you can see the angle i'll try to get it in here hold on okay if you can see the angle right here on the support i'm going to start pounding this down here in order to bring this back in a little bit more this way just to bring the door seam out so then the whole thing will be tabbed there's a tab here to the roll cage and then we'll pull that in just to make sure everything's square so that is the game plan if we get that far, we're going to move on to this A pillar. Now, uh, as you can see, this it's yeah, it's not good. It's it's the whole bone of my contention right now. So I'm gonna pull the, the A pillar off. I'm gonna clean up all this here and re weld this seam back. Clean up this here, weld that. And then I'm going to figure the spacing out. The other side is actually really, really good. The, the, the gap, everything is awesome. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to... I may start on this side just for the A-pillar. Because you can see here it is very clean. It's a, it's a perfect cut. It just fits like right back in. So what I might do is maybe take a, a measurement from down here to the very corner up here. And then I can turn around after that and, and transfer it to the other side. I, I do believe the pasture side pillar has got to come up just a little bit. So, and you know, we may actually start putting in uh, some panels. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll jack the car up in the back, get the tires off. And uh, maybe we'll start with uh, getting the tubs in and we'll see what we can come up with. I don't want to start getting anything in the front of the car yet until we get these doors to... To fit properly but the back is seems to be all right so maybe we'll start uh, we'll start getting those panels in the back so anyway guys thanks for sticking with us so it's a sunday afternoon here at the gear jammer garage and aren't you lucky you get to spend it with stewie and i so <laughs> <laughs> could be worse i'm just it throwing it out there who does Chicken, chicken well look what he's doing to the you know it looked good yesterday when he was you know when he has the star racing down there but as soon as you get to close the door on the slide here it looks like he uh he dog breakfasted look what he did but i'm not sure what kind of design that is looks like something that would come from japan or something you'd have like on the side of a tuner car <laughs> I, yeah. okay with that note we're going to continue on I'll, I'll, I'll set you up here somewhere maybe we'll time lapse us uh playing around so again thanks for joining us guys Okay, so a little quick update. We'll come back here and start here. As you can see, Stewie is hard at work. We're starting with the aluminum down here, guys. It's uh, it's getting there. Now, look down the side of the car, and you can see we've just finished the pasture side. Oh, and as you saw before and or earlier, you can see that that is way better than what it was. So, playing origami with my phone, I'm going to show you that we got the inside of the door all done in here. It was all, it wasn't good. You can see in there, it would need to be welded. Oh, let me see your own. There we go. Okay, so there's a little bit of tacking left to do. As you can see right in here where my finger's poking through, ta -da! that has to, be, uh, has to be welded all up in there too. But. It is off to the dog's breakfast of the other side now, and that's what we're going to do. But, yeah, everything is uh, it's looking a lot better. So, this is what we're going to deal with. I just kind of started over here, as you can see by my array of tools. So, I'll give you a little bit of an idea in here. So, I just got this kind of pounded out. I want to start getting this put back together in here. Because I gotta come back in and I'm gonna have to force this over. So, and on the back side, you can see right in there, that all has to be be done. You can see in through the hole, like that's not even straight, okay? Like that's, yeah, it's just, it's not right. So, 
<laughs> door was rubbing here, so it's got to be pushed back in. But I can do that through the pin that'll hold it to the side of the roll cage. So, but that's where we're at. So we got one side done. So it's a long weekend down here in the shop. We have all kinds of people hanging out with us. So <laughs> anyway, guys, stick with us. We'll be back in a few more minutes and give you a little bit more of an update. You can see there's a. It will wiggle back and forth, like left to right in the front because they're of that pin. Remember I told you it was underneath the, the cowl. So we we removed that, but that's only because we need the movement in the car. So other than that, it's it's really starting to look good. I'm uh, I'm getting very happy. So stick with us, guys. We'll be back here right shortly. All right. Well, we've got ourselves some aluminum in the back of the car. Stewie was working very hard today. And uh, he's accomplished quite a bit. It's actually looking really well. We've obviously had to trim a few spots, you know, here and there, round in here. But, like, I mean, let's be honest. Realistically, this is awesome. He's got a new cable set up. Just came in, so we're going we're gonna to start running all that before we get any farther with any more floor pans. But fuel yeah, cells in. I mean, he's, uh, he's, he's done a, a phenomenal amount of work this afternoon. So it's starting to look really, really good. With us, other than or with me, I guess, I was playing back here, and I got as far as the passenger door. It's now got a nice gap. It's half decent. This is actually not touching now, which is awesome. So we'll be able to push pull that up a little bit. The seam is awesome. If you look down the side of the car, I'll even give you the visual here. You look down and see for yourself. So when you look down the side of the car, look at that. So it's actually looking pretty good. Now, I just got done being inside here. And we've got this one to open and close. And if you look, I'll get the light back on here. If you look back in here, we finally got all that back up in here. That was what we were playing with and trying to get together. And it was just yeah it was what it was just crazy so that's all in there so now tomorrow we got to come back in here and finish pounding this off get the rest of the rocker but i mean the gap here was crazy insane now this is this won't this is nothing to get to put that back in there so which also brings us to here where you have the gap in this one awesome it's not touching window this is just bent here. It needs to be pushed back in. That's because when the Yahoos took the doors off, they leaned them up against the wall and the Lexan's bent out. So I got to still be politically correct on the video. So, but yeah, so that's, uh, that's where we're at. So, so you can see me. Here we go. So that's what we're going to be at. That's uh, tomorrow. We'll come back in. We'll probably tackle that uh, finishing off that bottom of that pillar, get that rocker done. We're going to do the uh, A pillars and uh, we're going to start putting in some more floor pans. So, appreciate you sticking with us. Don't forget to uh, leave a comment if you guys have something you know you want to know about the car or anything like that. Let us know. We try to give everybody as much info as we can. Again, uh, we'll probably be one more video before we go back to uh, the drags on Friday night, test and tune. And then there is something going on. Oh, crap. I can't remember. Hot Rod Reunion, I do believe, is this weekend. I will look into it more, though. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, thanks, everybody, again. Say it every time, but thanks, everybody, for reaching out and helping us out. Appreciate everybody. Image Line doing all my merchandise. Jimmy here at the Gear Jammers Garage for letting us use the garage. Misfit Racing, everybody. I'm sorry if I missed somebody, but lots of people have reached out. So thanks again. Peace. Love y'all. We'll see you in the next video. Stewie. See you <laughs> next video. All right, man. We'll yeah, talk to you later. Jimmy, say good night. Good night, Jimmy. <laughs> All right, bye. Have a good night, guys. We'll see you in the next video.